is really offers the patient an excellent chance of cure. And today's treatment, as a matter of fact, in our centers uh, in the U.S., I would say about 70% of the patients we treat are for curative intent. It's just reverse. During just my uh, career, when we started uh, uh, my residency program in radiation oncology uh, some decades ago, uh, it was reversed. 70 to 80 percent of the patients we used to treat were just for palliation, just to kind of relieve their pain, suffering, and try to control the tumor growth and keep it uh, to some extent. And, uh, but ultimately, most of the patients will succumb to their, you know, cancer. But today is reverse. Uh, and uh, so, how this technology has advanced and today's level that we are dealing with all this. Of course, it is very, very expensive technology, but it is the uh, right step in the right direction uh, that ultimately most of these patients can be cured. Of course, the key is that we have to detect these cancers in very early stage. If they are already metastasized and already spread all over the body, then of course, these patients won't have a chance for cure. But that may be also not true, hopefully, in not too far uh, in future. Because some of these uh, targeted therapeutic drugs that they are developing, uh, which is really working on the, uh, all these molecular levels and at the genetic levels, uh, changing uh, 